Large areas across Somerset were affected by flash floods. Firefighters were inundated by calls. Some houses were evacuated and roads closed. Around 11.8 millimetres of rain fell over Yeovil in three hours. Other people probably would have cut it before now, but we determination and will of a lot of people just kept it going, kept hoping, kept praying, you know, through the torrential rains on Wednesday, through the Tuesday, all the vehicles coming in through the storm on the Monday, through to the Thursday where we opened the gates, but because of all the storms we'd lost all traffic control up in our holding compound, so we couldn't control traffic. There was six and a half mile tailbacks down the A303, you know, it would have been a sellout event by sounds right actually. We've been dealing with the council and the local authorities and the concerns that they have regarding health and safety and that kind of thing and getting people off site. The problem we've got is uh, the weather warnings in the area. There's um, flash flooding warnings. And then the cavalry arrived, you know, the rest of the director's core production team arrived and everyone kind of came together and boosted and said, well, come on, let's go for it. Let's go for the old spirit. Let's go for the old free festival thing. You know, let's just hold them in that field. Let's get them in, get everyone off the road now. This is a lot of huge fun for a huge number of people and it's, it's a great disappointment, I think, to everyone concerned that we've ended up in the situation we're in. But that's living in England, I think. As a, as a council, we have a statement of licensing policy and we support live music, cultural events such as this. So over the three years that the festival has been running, we have been pleased to work with the organisers to, um, to organise the festival each year. And it's been a great success. And it's building on that success. This, this freak weather you know, that, that we've had is just extremely unfortunate for the organisers. Our sort of hearts go out to them and now we're helping them to move the people away from sight in a safe manner. Bruce, could you just finally say something to the other people on the other side of the gate who may be just feeling you know, upset that the festival yeah. didn't kick off? Well, I mean, what can I say? I felt for them. I actually went up there myself, walked around a lot, and just observing and feeling pretty grim for them, particularly when it rained and there was all sorts of problems trying to get blankets, every problem you could have. But all I would say is that we absolutely did everything humanly possible to keep this on. We went beyond the call of duty to try and have the thing on. I mean, we went battled and battled for, for them. And uh, if there had been anything in this way, we would have got it on and we couldn't. And there was no choice. Uh, if anything, we tried too hard, we perhaps we should have given in earlier. But that was our only fault, I think, not in desperately trying to keep it on. It's not for want of trying. Everyone's given so much to make this happen. And, uh, and it would have been awesome. It's just uh, some things we uh, can't manage for or prepare for. I think we had every eventuality created by man or woman covered, but something bigger than man or woman sort of uh, got involved and uh, there was nothing we could do about that. For those of you that didn't make it down to the site, um, you've just got to come down here and have a look. It's absolutely chaotic. It's uh, apocalyptic, I think it's probably a best uh, description of it. There's uh, big, deep, deep trenches which are almost over your wellies. Summer celebration 2008. Bring on the mud, <laughs> yes. Mud! Muddy? Mud! <laughs> Muddy! Mud! <laughs> site went down due to the excessive amount of traffic. Our techie guys had to stay up all night migrating the website to a new server. So there were some periods of time when it was uh, down and there was also some periods of time when some computers receiving, were receiving outdated information on it. We really apologise to anybody um, who didn't manage to get up to date information because of that. But it was, I mean, it was total, it was really full on here. We were into getting blankets to welfare to, to deal with wet people who got flooded and you know trying to help people get out from mud and trying to help the site be as safe as possible. Sorrow and sighing on silent wind. I will go in the lady's name. I need to come home again. I hate till I come home again. Despite the uh, bad weather and the water long in, uh, it's been pretty fun. I've thoroughly enjoyed it, yeah, making my own entertainment and listening to other people's. The impromptu stuff has been brilliant. Would have had a better time, but having a good time anyway. Just a nice vibe really, it's a really beautiful place. 
The camaraderie actually is excellent. I suppose it's like sort of siege or wartime conditions. It's really that we're all we're all sunk, and you can't stand out for yourself because then you just collapse. So everyone is it's working well. People are backing each other up, and majority of people are actually quite cheerful. Yeah, it would have been good. It would have been really, really good. You know. Um, I can't help what's going on, but it's, it's going to have a bit of fun, haven't you? It's been an incredible challenge with the weather. I've watched people continue to put it together in the rain, building, building, building in the rain, in total faith that somehow it was going to work out. And I was completely moved to um, walk around and, and look at all the colour and all the creativity and all the effort and the, the faith. And I just f f feel that we're doing, we're totally doing the right thing. By buying a ticket to this event, each and every one of you has invested, you know, invested in that ideal, you know, it's invested in those beliefs, you know, you've invested in what we are trying to be, you know, what Sunrise is trying to be is something that is, is um, a model, a philosophy, a harmonic for a better future, a better world, you know, and that's what I hope that the people who have bought tickets all year out there, you guys, everybody out there, realises that, you know, when you bought a ticket, it wasn't just for a festival, you know, it was for, it was for what that festival stands for, which is, you know, a celebration. And then I will go as a wind to Sorrow and sighing me go down. I will go in the lady's name. I'll come home again. Organizers of the Big Chill Festival have are opening up a whole new area of their site for the Sunrise Celebration to take part at their event this year. After after um, hearing about the situation that's taking place here at the site and the people involved and the heartache of all those who weren't able to attend and all those ticket buyers, they stepped forward and then have offered the opportunity for Sunrise to take place there. Do Sunrise at the Big Chill because they're really into what it's about. are going to be able to, to get Sunrise and it is going to happen this year which is really exciting for us but not only are they going to get Sunrise they're going to get the big chill as well um, so we're really excited. Thrilled in fact. <laughs>